All right, Congressional Research Service the Strategic Petroleum Reserve Authorization Operation Drawdown Policy. International Aid and Energy Agency Obligation. The uh, organization Arab Petroleum Export Countries Oil Embargo also fosters establishment of the International Energy Agency. The development of the plan is managed with the emergency response with the energy crisis of the strategic stock. Holdings of one of the supplies in Cuba, the agency's International Energy Pro Program. The International Aid and Energy Agency. Members country include the United States with a committed to maintaining oil stock inventories equal to the 90 days of the prior rears of the Newport and net imports, developing programs for the demand restraint with the event of the emergency grant to participate in allocation of the oil deliveries balance shortage among the International Energy Agency members. In 2011, the United States participated in a coordinated International Energy Agency drawdown in response to shutdown limiting and oil exports as it is current event. Inventory of about 691 billion barrels of strategic petroleum reserve provides for the United States 139 days of the net import protection surpassed 90 days international energy obligation. The full drawdown rate of strategic petroleum reserve can deliver 4.4 billion billion barrels a day of crude, 4.4 uh, million barrels of crude oil in 90 days, dropping in the rate of 3.3 million barrels a day for additional 30 days, dropping further the drawdown rate. For 180 days of stock to plead with these measures for the days of protection, assuming the total occurred in entertainment of oil supply to the import nations in scenario with a highly likely that it would be especially true with the United States, given the Canada, Canada, Mexico, Venezuela, the current nation's major foreign sources for imported crude oil. Some of the International Energy Agency member per nations require a certain level of stock holding by private sector or both the public and private sector. Private oil sector holds roughly 60% of the International Energy Agency required stock, whether it is government supervisor agency hold the remaining 40% of the U.S. federal government holds 100% of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve stock. Net and gross imports. Even the net imports of the crude oil and petroleum product declined with 9.66.92 of the million barrels to um, 2009 to 4.87 of the million barrels a day in 2016 from a uh, decline of the net imports result of the decline in gross imports from 11.69 barrels per day in 2009. To 10.05 million barrels a day in 2016, coupled with increased export of the 2.24 million barrels in 2009 to 5.185 million barrels in 2016. While in 2016 export value increased some of the crude oil sold in Canada, growing share finding the other destinations. Question concerning the ability of strategic petroleum reserve to maximize contribution to U.S. energy security as well as the time and emergency gross imports should be replaced by supplies from the strategic petroleum reserve, thereby preserving U.S. consumption as well as the export of petroleum product sales, or whether only net import sales should be preserved. An additional question is whether the strategic petroleum reserve release of time and energy should be required to be used on the United States whether the strategic petroleum reserve oil should be released for the world market from the United S outside the United States. The strategic petroleum reserve drawdown authorities president authority the presidential authority to authorize drawdown depends on making the determination that the severe supply interruption exists nationally or internationally or is imminent. United States is obligated to agreement to join the International Energy Agency coordinated response. In case of the international interruption, the President may release an unlimited volume of crude oil. In the case of the national interruption, some statutory limitations apply. The Secretary of Energy has also limited authority to release crude oil for the test drawdown. Sphere Energy Supply Interruption Emergency The Energy Policy Conservation Act authorized drawdown reserves upon finding with the President that there is a severe energy supply interruption by the statute. Such interpretation, and that's Public Law 94163, uh, Energy Policy Conservation Act. Such interruptions exist when the President determines that one, an emergency situation exists, there's a significant reduction in supply. Which is a significant cost, scope of the duration. Two, severe increase of the price of petroleum products has resulted from such emergency situation, and price increases likely to cover the major adverse impact on the national economy. 
Severe domestic energy supply and eruption. Chris enacted the additional drawdown authority in the 1998 Energy Policy Conservation Act Amendments to Public Law 101-383 after Exxon Valdez oil spill interrupted a shipment of Alaskan oil triggering spot shortages and price increases. The intention was to provide an, a strategic petroleum reserve drawdown in life with a lot less rigorous deten- determination the Enviro Energy Policy Conservation Act mandated the provisions authorized the President to use the Strategic Petroleum Reserve domestic energy supply shorts without having to declare severe energy supply interruption or the need for the obligation of the United States under the International Energy Program. Under the authority of Public Law 101 383, the President can initiate with the drawdown in the event and circumstance of the constitutes likely to become the domestic or international energy supply shortage. A significant scope of the duration of the action taken would assist directly significantly in preventing reducing adverse impact of shortage, such shortage. This authority of strategic petroleum reserve sale is not more than 30 million barrels a day. Sorry, not more than 30 million barrels over a 60 day period for of only when the strategic petroleum reserve is inventory is above 500 million barrels. <clears throat> All right, test sale. By law, security and energy must periodically evaluate strategic petroleum reserve drawdown sale product procedures and carry out test drawn sale of the exchange of the petroleum products for reserves um, up to 5 million barrels. Last strategic petroleum reserve test sale was in 2014. Strategic Petroleum Reserve Sites. The Strategic Petroleum Reserve physically compromises four sites in two in Texas, two in Louisiana. The site for the offer access, access both marine terminals, pipeline system, and even the move of the crude oil to and from Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Each site with a consistent underground salt dome uncur, cur, occurring geological structure. Solution mined to create storage cavern structure and crude oil is removed by injecting. Uh, Water to display the oil. The cavern remains strategically intact long as long as the short oil remains in place. In the event multiple sales exchange over the time, repeated water injections will cause the salt leaching, leaching beginning to compromise the structure and integrity of the caverns. The strategic petroleum reserve storage capacity has expanded 7.27 million barrels. The inventory has reached nearly 700 million barrels before Hurricane Katrina. And read in 2005, following the storm of the Department of Energy, loaned some of the crude oil to the refineries. Sold some of the competitive bidding borrowers of the strategic petroleum reserve oil required to repay the loans in kind with a premium essentially returning a larger amount of oil than borrowed. Strategic petroleum reserve reached in the maximum fill of 727 million barrels by 2010 through the royalty and kind acquisition remaining in the level of 2011. The drawdown reduced inventory to 695 million barrels. Strategic petroleum reserve currently holds equivalent to 139 days of import protection based on 2016 imported with 4.87 million barrels per day at net petroleum imports. They have the one show of the current strategic petroleum reserve inventory level accounting for 30 million barrels sold in summer 2011. The figure one show the strategic petroleum reserve Gulf of Mexico. And there's Louisiana and Texas. You have Brian Mound, Seaway, Texas City, Houston, Big Hill, Port Authority, Arthur, Port Arthur, Lake Charles, like Hogberry, Seaway, 30, WDG, Sun, Lion, Texacoma, Seaway, Texacoma, Cap Line, Bay of Chihuahua, Exxon Mobil, Cape Line, St. Pat James, New Orleans, uh, the Gray uh, Refinery Centers, the Purple Lines are crude oil pipelines, green are distribution systems. The blue is strategic petroleum sale points. And the red is strategic petroleum storage sites. Table 1, strategic petroleum reserve inventory, May 31st, 2015. Site sweet and sour in total. Um, you have Brown, Mound, Breezer, County, Texas. Big Hill, Jefferson County, Texas. Wex, at Cogaberry, Camarion, Parish, Louisiana, Bayou, Chachu, Imbruvia, and Bervia, Paris, Louisiana, subtitle underground inventory, tanks and pipelines, and total inventory. Brian Mound. The Brian Mound short site is located in Brazier County, um, Brazoria County, Texas, approximately three miles southwest of Freeport. The site has 20 storage caverns, total storage capacity of 254 billion barrels, cavern inventory of 242.1 million barrels. The Bryant Mound site began operation in 1986 and has remained operational since. The Big Hill 
Storage site is located in Jefferson County, Texas, approximately 26 miles southwest of the berm at Beaumont. The site has 14 storage caverns, combined in storage capacity of 171 million barrels of cabin inventory, 162.2 million barrels. Big Hill site began full operation in 1991 and has remained operational since. West Hackberry, West Hackberry storage site is located in Cameron, Paris, Louisiana, approximately 25 miles southwest of Lake Charles. The site has 22 storage caverns, combined in storage capacity of 228 million barrels cavern inventory. 213.2 million barrels West Hockerberry site began full operation in 1988. It has remained operational since. The Bayou Chattawa storage site is located in Inverville, Parish, Louisiana, approximately 12 miles southwest of Baton Rouge. So it has six storage caverns of authorized storage capacity of 74 million barrels of cabin inventory of 73.6 million barrels of Bayou Chattawa. Site began full operation in 1987 and has remained operational since. In October 2007, the Bay of Chattawa authorized cavern capacity temporarily to decrease 70 million barrels to 73.5 million barrels. Um, Bay of Chattawa Cavern 20 had creeped within 60 feet of the salt dome edge required replacement due to the risk of the breaching of the salt dome. The cavern passed all integrity tests, remaining out only out of the immediate danger of leaking. However, to limit the risk, the Department of Energy reduced oil stored in the cavern 20 from 7.5 million barrels to 3.2 million barrels by using the upper portion of the cavern. Department of Energy temporarily stored cavern 20's oil in Big Hill West Hackberry Caverns. Instead, so physically expanding with the cavern's additional storage space capacity with the displacing the brine cushion of the button. Over the, at the bottom of the two caverns of the Brian Cushion held uh, nationally occurring cover and care creep as a result of the salt dome geological deformation. In no, November 2011, the Department of Energy acquired a 10 million barrel replacement for the cavern designated Cavern 102 of the Bay, Barrow, Bayou Chattawa Salt Dome. <laughs> Placement of the cavern's development was scheduled with an integration of the Bayou Chattahoo system in the January 2013. Cavern 102 compl completion was increased to site capacity to 2.5 million barrels, replacing 7.5 million barrels with a 10.10 10 million barrel cavern. Strategic Petroleum Reserve Capacity The Energy Policy Act of 2005 it required expansion of Strategic Petroleum Reserve maximum physical capacity of 1 billion barrels. As expeditious as practical, advocate with expansion, argue with the tree Petroleum Reserve would now need the larger of the United States to be able to maintain stock equivalent to 90 days of the net imports. The department evaluated um, Richton MS um, possible location for the additional 260 million barrels of capacity have with the fiscal year 2011. Obama administration canceled the tree Petroleum Reserve expansion plan, citing the Energy Information Administration projection. That the U.S. petroleum consumption dependency on imports will decline in the future. The current reserve projection will gradually increase to 90 days by 2025. The Chicago Petroleum Reserve is designed to draw down on the rate roughly 4.4 million barrels per day up to 90 days. Therefore, the rate would begin to decline. The drawdown is limited capacity with a takedown capacity for the pipeline. Marine terminals servicing the Chicago Petroleum Reserve the first major drawdown in 1991 per the Gulf War. Confirmed strategic petroleum reserve operability of life expansion of the program initiated in 1993, upgraded to replace all major systems of the strategic petroleum reserve readiness to 2025. The strategic petroleum reserve current capacity physically limited to the 713.5 million barrels of the current inventory with about 691 million barrels refining strategic petroleum reserve after order drawdown remains at presidential discretion, presumably at the time of the price crude oil decline, the political and marketing conditions economically advantage to do so. The initial crude oil um, that filled with the Strategic Petroleum Reserve came from purchase paid with the appropriate funds out of the alternative appropriate funds. The Department of Energy proposed accepting train for the discretion of the royalty payments collected with the Department of, Defen Department of the Interior of the Gulf of Mexico oil lease in a form of royalty and kind oil rather than revenue of the royalty and kind avoids the while well, royalty and kind avoids the necessity of the making outlaw outlays for purchasing oil at mid but the le less it was uh, it also meant loss of revenue settling royalties with wet barrels rather than cash payment to US Treasury. The Department of the Interior worked out a final detail during late 
1999 to 2000 and 2001 with the royalty and kind program which for the transfer of oil of the street petroleum reserves were replaced. Oil sold in the mid 1990s to fish um, the fish the fish it reduction purpose of the mid November 2001 President Bush ordered the strategic petroleum reserve filled to 700 million barrels principally through oil acquired in royalty and kind between 1990 and 2009. Royalty and kind deliveries totaled roughly 162 million barrels foregone receipts. The U.S. Treasury estimated $6.49 billion. 2009 Secretary of the Interior Ken Salazar announced that he was ending the royalty and kind program. Without plan, rich insight, even the royalty and kind program resumed. No additional capacity exists to store additional crude oil beyond 727 million barrels. The Strategic Petroleum Reserve release. The Department of Energy Strategic Petroleum Reserve oil through the competitive binding bidding and publishing of the notice of sale that include the volume characteristics, the location of petroleum for sale, the delivery date of the procedure for the submitting offers, as well as measure of the ensuring that the performance financial response for the bids are reviewed with the Department of Energy will, uh, offers awarded uh, and awards offered. Department of Energy estimated that the oil could enter the market with roughly two weeks for the appearance of the notice of sale of the date the Strategic Petroleum Reserve oil release. Uh, um, today, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve has released over 160 million barrels of the various purposes of the President has ordered relief on three occasions. Some 63 million barrels in total response to severe energy supply interruptions coordinated with the International Energy Agency member country. The Strategic Petroleum Reserve original intent on 11 other occasions. The Department of Energy has lent oil nearly 68 million barrels in total to the mitigate the temporary supply and eruptions and borrows prepaid their loans by replacing the crude oil and its small volume as premium. On two occasions, sales generated revenue as a budget deficient reduction tool as did the initial 1985 Weeks Island, Weeks Island test sale. The Clinton administration introduced a new dimension of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve drawdown. Sales with a proposed so with the official year in uh, 1996 beyond budget to sell the 7 million barrels of the help of the finance strategic petroleum reserve program. While the green to slightly um, sell slightly more than 1% of the strategic petroleum reserve oil would not cripple the U.S. emergency preparedness. Some in Congress vigorously opposed the idea of the part because they might establish a president precedent that would bring in additional sales from the strategic petroleum reserve oil from a purely budget reason as did intend to indeed occur. There were three weeks um, there were three there were sorry, there were three sales of the strategic petroleum reserve oil during the official year nineteen ninety six. First was to pay with the decommission over the weekend's island site. The second one to reduce the federal budget deficit. The third was to offset fiscal year 1997 operations. The total 28.1 million barrels sold the raised revenue of 547.7 million barrels. Since the Obama administration proposed selling strategic petroleum reserve oil to reduce deficient spending of the 2000 fiscal year 2011. The Energy, Preve Energy Pre um, Preservation Conservation Act author authorizes permanent exchange of oil, for oil, uh, of oil purposes acquiring additional oil from Strategic Petroleum Reserve under exchange, also times referred to as a loan company that borrowed the Strategic Petroleum crude oil later replaces additional um, quantity of oil premium from the, of the loan. There were seven exchanges between 1996 and 2005 and June 2006 after temporary closures of a ship. Channel block crude oil sh shipments to two refineries. Renokio Phillips and CD Sitgo borrowed 750,000 barrels of sour, sour crude from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, later replaced it plus additional premium barrels. In fall 2008, Strategic Petroleum Reserve conducted test exchange against shortage of the result from the damaged petroleum instrument struck with the hurricane gust of the and Ike, following Hurricane Isaac, one million barrels were exchanged with the Marathon Oil due to the disruption to commercial oil production, refining distribution operations in the Gulf of the Coast. Some of the events participated with the major relief that discussed below. Table 2, Strategic Petroleum Reserve History of the Crude Oil Release, 1985 Test Sale. Up to um, 1990, Desert Shield. Um, 1991, there's a shield sale of uh, 
hundred million. Um, nineteen ninety six weeks island sale. March nineteen ninety six pipeline blockage sewage way pipeline system. Nineteen ninety six deficient reduction. Nineteen ninety six October deficient reduction. Omnibus bus and Calside consolidated appropriation act of nineteen ninety seven. 1998, uh, May Exchange, Department of Energy Exchange, 11 million barrels of the made crude oil for the 8.5 million barrels of higher value crude oil to improve strategic petroleum operational efficiency. 2000, June, there's an exchange of 1 million, 2000, uh, established NEHHOR, Northeast Home Heating and Oil Reserve, 2.836 million, uh, 2.8 Three six million dollars October the exchange two thousand thirty million October two thousand two Hurricane Lily ninety eight thousand two thousand four Hurricane Ivan five point four million two thousand five Hurricane Katrina um, sale eleven million dollars exchange nine point eight million dollars um, Two thousand six barge accident say by now she has ship channel so the exchange uh exchange seven points point seven six six point seven six seven million barrels two thousand six June Calcia ship channel closure seven hundred and fifty thousand two hundred eight three quarters Gothic Vike five point eight three nine million barrels 2011 International Energy Coordinated Release, 30.64 million barrels. Uh, September 2012, Hurricane Isaac, 1 million barrels exchange. Sale, um, test sale, 5 million barrels, uh, 5 million, 2014. All right, 1990, 1991, Severe Energy Supply and Eruption, Desert Steel, um, Desert Storm. The aftermath of the Iraqi invasion of the Kuwait with the August 2019, uh, sorry, August 2nd, 2000, August 2nd, 1990, escalation gasoline price to prospect with the world crude oil shortage approaching 4.5 million barrels to 5 million barrels daily. The problems that call for the strategic petroleum reserve to draw down. The debate focused on whether the strategic petroleum oil, um, reserve oil should be used to moderate anticipated price increase before oil supply problems have become fiscally evident. The George H. W. Bush administration indicated that the world would not draw down strategic patrol reserve the absence of the physical shortage simply with the lower price. On the other hand, some argued that perceived shortage does as much from immediate damage for the real one, the flooding of the market. With stockpiled oil, the calm market of the desirable end itself with the respect for the best opportunity the strategic patrol reserve came during the first months of the crisis when some argued that the administration squandered or maybe clearly drawn it became clear during fall 1990 that it was in a decontrolled market. Physical shortage, shortages are, are less likely to occur instead of the expression of supply shortage coming in with them higher prices. A purchaser free to bid as high as they wish to secure the sale, scarce, scarce sale apply. Within hours, the first airstrike was against Iraqi in January 1991 with the White House and then with the President Bush authorizing drawdown of strategic patrol reserve of the International Energy Agency um, activated the plan with January 17th. Crude oil purchase prices plummeted nearly $10 a barrel to the next day trading off the following below $20 billion barrel, barrel, $20 barrel um, for the first time since the original invasion. Only the analysis attributed the price down to Price dropped the optimistic reports of the Allied forces crippling Iraq air power, diminished likelihood of despite the outbreak of the war, further jeopardy of the world oil supply that appeared to be needed. No need for the international agency, international energy agency plan. The strategic petroleum reserve drawdown helps settle, settle markets. There were some criticisms over the Department of Energy offered more than 30 million barrels of strategic petroleum reserve oil for bread. We're only accepted 1.73 million barrels successful bidders take oil delivery in early 1991. Persian Gulf War drawdown provided an important example about the ways to maximize the strategic petroleum of the use of the decontrolled market legislation enacted during the 101st Congress, Public Law 138, three, um, sorry, 101-3083. Previously noted with the experiment of the strategic petroleum reserve drawdown authorized uh, authorities allowing using preventing minor regional shortages of the escalating large ones. For example, the shortage of the West Coast price jumped out of the Alaskan oil spill 
March 1989, in 102nd Congress on Omnibus Energy Legislation, House of Representatives 776, Public Law 102-486, um, brought in the drawdown authority for the increase include instances where the reduction of supply appeared sufficiently severe to bring about increase of the price of petroleum likely to cover the major adverse impact of the national economy. 2005, severe domestic energy supply and eruption of hurricanes, Katrina and Rita. Um, in the period of the 2005 growing worldwide oil demand began with the trend of U.S. refinery production, particularly with the demand of the gasoline refined projects increased without, uh, with expanding with the economy. Hurricane Katrina fell with the hurricane and Rita with the end serve of the far-reaching effects on the U.S. petroleum and each, each approaching hurricane caused production facilities. In the Gulf of the Mexico, to shut down the operation refining distribution system was interpreted with a one hurricane made a landfall over the two days of the devastation. The Department of Energy approved the emergency with the loans of 9.8 million barrels of crude oil from strategic petroleum reserve refineries who the supplies have been cut with the International Energy Energy I, uh, a EIA with announced the member of the country's agreed with the coordinate with the emergency response um, to make 60 million barrels of crude oil refined products available to help mitigate disruption and flow of oil the worldwide. The Department of Energy have offered 30 million barrels for the sale with the executed sale contracts of 11 million barrels together with the Lone Strategic Petroleum Reserve of at least 2.8 million barrels. Refined petroleum product with a total of 27.33 million barrels in the market and the EIA. Release refined product with a particular um, benefit to the East Coast for the dormally with the dependent on the Gulf Coast refineries receipts for the U.S. Territory Strategic Petroleum Reserve Petroleum account for 11 million barrels sold total 6.15 million barrels with 9.8 million barrels loaned with the petroleum industry repaid with the Strategic Petroleum Reserve 500 million sorry 500,000 additional petroleum premium barrels. 2011, an international energy agency coordinated relief of the respondent Liberty and crude oil curtailment. In the first official year of 2012 budget request, the Obama administrator had proposed $500 million, million sale of petroleum from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, proposed for completion on March 1, 2012, for the deposit um, in general fund of the Treasury. The House voted to approve the $500 million sale. In the House of Representatives, uh, H.R. 2354-112, Congress provided that the quantity sold would be replaced with the official year 2012, paragraph A1 or 3, section 160 of the Energy Policy Conservation Act, or 3, which authorized the acquisition of crude oil produced for the federal lands, or the repurchase of the exchange, respectively. However, political unrest that began in Tunisian and spread over the Egypt and Libya in the early 2011 that had led to a surge in oil price. Observed during the first year of the um, quarter of the year, the offset loss of the Libyan export of the column markets of the moderate price. Some of the Congress called for the releasing oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Some reason the oil release of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve would dampen speculative bidding. Those driving the market it would reduce prices of the short run. By early 2000, March 2011, price of the West Texas and Intermediate Light Sweet Crude Oil traded on the New York Mar 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 Mercantile Exchange. Exceeded the 100 per barrel in Europe. The price of the Brent and crude oil, the heavier and higher than sulfur crude oil, with the West Texas Intermediate exceeded $115 per barrel. These prices are approximately 20% higher than the before outbreak of political unrest, reflected on the least two important factors. First, expectation unrest could spread to the other countries, some of the which could be major oil producers. Second, and second, actual curtailment of Libyan export to an uncertain extent for unknown duration and offset with the lost Libyan crude oil export. Saudi Arabia indicated that it would expand its export to keep the world market supplied on June 13, 23, 2011. International Energy Agency announced that it was 28 members' country would release 60 million barrels of crude oil refined products for the global market. That is part of the action. President directed the drawdown of strategic petroleum reserve to meet. U.S. response obligation 30 million barrels of the Department of Energy issued the notice of sale on the same day on June 24, 2011. Permanent Energy opened with the West Base crude oil sales office system of the five day sale of 30.237 of the million barrels of light. Sweet crude oil is bid reference of the 112.78 $112 dollars a barrel. 
Department of Energy received more than 90 offers, uh, offers of strategic petroleum reserve crude oil awarded 20 contracts to sell at 30.64 million barrels of crude oil at the average price of 107.21 per barrel. The oil was sold from the Brain Mound and Big Hills sites for the Texas and West Hackleberry, Louisiana site. All right, the 2014 test sale, Secretary of Energy under Section 161G of the Energy Policy Conservation Act authorized the sale of the 5 million barrels to test drawn down sales proceed with the TEXOMA facilities of the sale for purpose. With this test procedure is currently in place in the light of the exchange of the domestic crude oil production, increase the import of the Canada the chain of the domestic crude oil distribution that were the test sales show the white. All five oil companies contracted for the purchase of the available oil infrastructure issued the three petroleum reserve private sector side of the transaction. You need to be addressed. The oil test sale was sold with weighted to average of capacity price at $93.75 per barrel against an average price paid over the reserve of $29.70 per barrel. Placement of the test oil sale oil began in May 2015 and um, was completed with the July 31st, 2015. The Department of Energy and then with the repurchase of the plan it was trading about $45 per barrel. All right, other policy considerations in the market where the no physical shortage of oil companies may have the limited interest for the purchasing strategic petroleum reserve unless they are spare, providing capacity to determine the crude oil and it's a useful product that they want and want or want to build crude oil stock. U.S. government bases are no um, sale on previous um, five-day average of the price of the grave of the crude oil intends to sell with except of the bid it's considered responsive. The notice of itself does not prompt the contributed softening of the prices. They may be limited to interest part of the oil interest in binding on the strategic petroleum reserve supply. Although possibility exists the price does not might decline if an additional refined product is released into the market, it's impossible to predict the quantitative effects the strategic petroleum reserve crude oil drawdown would have. For example, the following June 23, 2011, the announcement of 30 million barrel release of the oil from the strategic petroleum reserve daily oil prices briefly climbed $94.96 per barrel to $90.70. Um, then returned previous release levels within a week. There are additional considerations on the unilateral drawdown U.S. strategic stock that would probably have less impact with the world oil market coordinated international drawdown which occurred with the 2011 release um, to meet the International Energy Agency obligation. Bits of his uh, Libas production curtailment, so might argue with the wood on Eden Wise. Under any scenario with the United States with the drawdown strategic stock with while other nations continue with the fine hold their current level of addition with the always produce the um, nation's reducing proportion offset any strategic petroleum reserve delivered into the market two thousand seventeen, some might argue that the market is already well supplied, short term supply concerns are not affecting private of the market conditions current with the anticipated geopolitical events of affecting prices. Other argue the oil commodity futures market but market is behind speculative of the binding of the driven prices. Some have perceived the strategic petroleum reserve defense policy against the high oil price of strategic petroleum reserve speed release have a non discernible impact on the oil price of the possible strategic petroleum reserve will lose some of the whatever psychological advantage the exercise on the prices was let when left on an untapped option. Refining capacity versus crude oils. Crude, refining, refining capacity versus crude supply. Alright, refining capacity versus crude supply. Well, the numbers of U.S. refineries of the process crude oil within the fuels um, had decreased over the last decade. Um, refining capacity increased somewhat in 2016. The EIA. Um, 141 refineries operate over 118 million barrels per day in a capacity that includes three refinery complexes, each made up of two formerly independent refineries. Some 55 refineries have co co coking processes for converting petroleum reside, reside to higher value products. Gulf Coast um, Region Petroleum Administration of the Defense Product District 3 makes up nearly 45% of the U.S. refinery capacity with 57 of the refineries processing more than 9.0 million barrels per day. 
The region also has the highest concentration of coking refineries. Over the last 25 years, the American Petroleum Institute gravity imported crude oil has been decreasing while the average sulfur content has been increasing. American Petroleum Institute gravity measures the development of the American Petroleum Institute expressed for the lightness and heaviness of the crude oil's inverted scale with a uh, Diminishing supply of light, sweet, low salt for the crude oil with until the relatively recent U.S. refineries at Ohio and had to add coking capacity to convert low power price heavier sour crude, sour crude oil to highly valued products such as the gasoline, diesel, jet fuel. But the most recent problem has become how to effectively integrate with the growth production of light, tightness oil, crude oil with the refinery input stream. The Government Accounting Office observed that in 2006, 40% of the crude oil refined with U.S. refineries was higher, heavier than stored in the, in the street. Petroleum Reserve. The proportion of the stored crude oil grades was not compatible and could be refineries, could be with the refineries had been moving towards heavier grades of crude oils based on 2005. The street Petroleum Reserve crude oil compatibility studied. The Department of Energy agreed that the street Petroleum Reserve could store the small percentage of the heavy crude oil to satisfy short and term needs of the Few refineries in the event of supply disruption. However, the Department of Energy argued that the current mix of the crudes were compatible for even the majority of refineries. Suggested consider the additional heavy crude oil with any future expansion of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Refineries, the process of heavy oil cannot, um, in general, operate with the normal capacity and the run lighter of the oil uh, if they run lighter oils. Refineries report with the get, 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 government accounting office for the, that run running lighter crude oils units des, designed to handle heavy crudes um, could impose as much as 11% penalty for the gas production and 35% of the diesel production. Agency reported other refineries indicated that they might have to shut down some of the other units. Type of the oil currently st stored in the Strategic Petroleum Reserve would not only fill fully compatible with 36 or so of the 74 refineries considered vulnerable to supply disruption. A majority of the refineries to have the pipeline access with three petroleum reserve located in the Gulf Coast region and of the Midwest region. The Government Accounting Office of the site of the Department of Energy estimates the U.S. refining through output would decrease by 735,000 barrels per day or 5% of the total U.S. refining capacity if the 36 refineries had used three petroleum reserve Oil substantial production in strategic petroleum reserve effectiveness during to an oil disruption, especially if the disruption involves heavy oil. In response to the 2006 Janet Government uh, Accounting Office report, the Department of Energy with the consider of the storm of the heavy crudes oil, heavy crudes in an opportunity that would occur. Through expansion, however, the expansion plans were canceled in 2011. Addition within the 2006 Strategic Petroleum Reserve updated crude compatibility study included its own 2010 report. Storage heavy, uh, heavy crude in Strategic Petroleum Reserve would not provide a new benefit in the event of a supply disruption. As late uh, as late, however, the light sweet crude production has increased for the United States with unconventional resource for the bacon back in Utica and Eagle Ford shales for the producing crude oil um, comparable to West Texas Intermediate Benchmark light sweet crude oil produced and also have the return of the Texas Permian Basin, the historic source of West Texas Intermediate. The increasing supply of the lower price of light sweet crude oil had begun edge with the heavier crude oil in supply. U.S. refineries, some refineries are bypassing the coking units to run highlighter crudes, given the economic advantage of the lower price crude offer. Gasoline price increase. In the recent year, the increase of the price of gasoline has been tied to call for the release reserves from Strategic Petroleum Reserve. For example, over the first few months of 2012, the retail gasoline price increased by f over 15%. Price of gasoline rose over the average of three uh, uh, from from an average of three point two three thousand twenty one cents per gallon in late December two thousand eleven to three dollars and sixty four percent to three dollars and sixty four cents in later February. Price continued to go up with the rise of the U.S. average of three dollars and ninety two um, cents per gallon on March twenty six. While the highest prices came, came calls um, came calls from for and against of the use of the brewed crude oil or, um, release of crude oil from the drinking petroleum reserve than way to control the price increase. Although the general recognition relief of the drinking petroleum reserve would likely to only provide the temporary relief of the rising prices, some relief of this is a signal and view is a signal to the market that the continuing spiral price that would meet the resolve of the policy action of the United by the United States. 
The judgment that the relief of the crude oil from the Chief Petroleum Reserve provides only temporary relief of the rising price the same of the well found over the January 23rd. 2011, the gasoline prices were at $3.60 a gallon. President Obama announced 30 million barrels relief of the Treaty Petroleum Reserve under initial energy agency obligation, uh, sorry, an international energy agency obligation. Price of gasoline declined about 2% over the next two weeks following the Strategic Petroleum Reserve announcement. But by July 8, 2011, the price had reached $3.61 per gallon, approximately the same level as before the release. Gasoline prices continued with a rise through the first week of the August before the decline later in the month. Gasoline prices averaged about $3.60 per gallon in August 2011, declining to $3.40 per gallon in October, and then and $3.21. Three dollars, sorry, three dollars and twenty-one cent per gallon in December. Gasoline price production in fourth quarter 2011 were likely related to the productions in crude oil prices between August and October 2011. And lag between uh, acquiring title of the crude oil and oil became available as retail gasoline as well as refining, switching production of summer to winter grade gasoline. Crude oil prices also responded immediately to the breach of oil that streaked petroleum reserve. The price of oil was $94.96 per barrel in July 22, 2011. On June 25th, the day of President Obama announced for the Strategic Petroleum Reserve release, price fell to $90.70 per barrel. And on June 30th, the 2011, the price had risen to $95.73 per barrel, exceeding the price before the announcement of the initial market response of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve release last in about one week. However, the announcement of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve release promised for the delivery of the oil market by the end of August, the price of the oil began to decline. August 2011, the general declined during August and September until the reach of $75.40 per barrel on October 4, 2011. Therefore, prices began to rise, exceeding $100 per barrel later in the year. Gasoline prices increased 2012 by virtually a grievous price increase as a result from an increase of the price of crude oil. Crude oil increases um, price increase generally resolved from actual or anticipated market tightening that is an increased demand reduction supply or both. Example may be viewed price increase of the 2008 relay with the rapid expansion of the petroleum demand in China, India, and other emerging markets. 2011, the price increase were thought to be largely attributed to loss of liberty in production during the revolution in the country. In 2012, although there were some reduction in supply due to the instability of South Sudan, Yemen, and other areas, primary driver of the high price that seemed to the tension it seemed to be tension with Iran related to the policy response with both sides of the controversy of over Iran and nuclear capacity. The environment where their current supplies un uh, are uninterrupted by speculation concerning future availability is active. May appear for the sum of the observer the situation will leave this from strategic control reserve would do little in mitigate. For example, Iranian military action succeed with the blocking of the strait with the hom or, or homo hormones would prevent over 170 oh, sorry over 17 million barrels per day crude oil from reaching the market. This quantity is almost four times the size of the market maximum drawdown capacity of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. And acting alone, however, the event of such size would almost certainly trigger international response, coordinated relief of the crude oil products for the United States as well as the 27th International Energy Agency member, member countries. Uh, the future of the U.S. import of the crude oil with the ability of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve supplement with the domestic U.S. supply of the crude oil effectively replace the imported banana Depends on the size of the reserves as well as the drawdown capabilities. The effectiveness depends on the volume of the U.S. import the rate of the U.S. consumption. Crude oil and, and imports are different between the U.S. demand and the domestic um, domestic imports are different. Are the, are the difference between U.S. demand and the domestic production? If either demand falls, the domestic production rises. If the need for import declines. Um, Because of the number of the factors, the term of the temporary increase of the recession, the high price of the conservation of U.S. consumption petroleum products declined in 2005 by about 9.5% of the decline in consumption to reduce the demand of the crude oil over the same period. U.S. production crude oil increased from 
five to one five point one eight million barrels a day to five point six seven the million barrels and an increase of nine point five percent of the combination of falling consumption and increasing production had produced share of the import of the total consumption from 49% of the 2005 to about 25% of the 2016. In addition, Canada increasing provide increasing provides the United States with crude oil imports, arguably representing the secure, secure source of supply. If recent trends continue, the United States will rely less on crude oil imports. Consequently, the Treaty Petroleum Reserve, even if the capacity contents remain fixed, may be better able to meet U.S. requirements in time supply shortage on the world market. All right, the use of strategic petroleum reserve funding instruments. Since 2015, several laws passed in the um, 114th Congress which required the share of the oil with the strategic petroleum reserve process to be even largely on program funding um, bipartisan budget act of the 2015 authorized sale of 58 million barrels of the oil from the street petroleum reserve over a period of fiscal year 2017 um, from through 2025 with additional sales revenues deposited with the U.S. Treasury. Two billion is, used, is to be used to modernize, maintain strategic petroleum reserve in the 21st century. Cures Act authorizes the sale of 25 million barrels of street petroleum reserve in the official year 2017 to 2019 through 2019 for for health related uses. Um, fixing American Surface Transportation Act and Public Law 11494 authorizes the sale of 66 million barrels of street petroleum reserve act from 2023 the official year 2015, um, which should be 25 to supplement highway transit programs. Because strategic petroleum reserve sales authorized legislation specified millions of barrels, it does not guarantee value of revenue of the program funding. The price of the oil changed rapidly, yielding potential large swings in sale proceeds. Total legislation reviewed the inventory of strategic petroleum reserve sum of 140 million barrels by 2012, reducing to about 21%. All of the legislation includes restriction of the prevent and fall of the strategic petroleum reserve balance bail blue. Below 90 day with the new net import covered level of consistent with the U.S. International Energy Agency obligation. Strategic, strategic petroleum reserve balance consistent with the 90 day import coverage value could change the variety of the reasons. Factors could lead to reduce strategic petroleum reserve inventories, include with the U.S. petroleum imports, which itself could be linked into increase U.S. petroleum product and reduce consumption, increase petroleum export of the factors perverse and required. Strategic petroleum reserve balance would increase while likely with the petroleum position in the United States would remain favorable and might well improve rapid change volatility have characterized oil markets in the past. Author information, Robert Prerog, a specialist in energy economics. Disclaimer, the document was uh, was prepared by the Congressional Research Service. The Congressional Research Services serves as nonpartisan shared staff. Congressional committees of the members of the Congress operate solely on the BS and off of the understanding of the direction of the Congress. Information in the Congressional Research Services report should not be relied upon for purpose other than public understanding information that has provided the Congressional Research Services of the members of the Congress in connection Congressional Research Service of the Institutional Role of the Congressional Regional Service of the Reports Works. United States Government are not subject to the copyright protection of the United States. The Congressional Research Service of the Report may reproduce distributed in the entirety without permission of the Congressional Research Services. However, the Congressional Research Service of the Report may include copyrighted images and material the third part from a third party. You need not you may need to obtain permission of the copyright holder if you wish to copy otherwise use copyrighted material. And that was the Strategic Petroleum Reserve Authorization Operation Drawdown Policy, um, updated May 1st, 2017.